Thank you very much. Well, each one of us has eyes and can see the shape of the object around us. Standing here, I can see the floor of the room, the screen behind me, and the room and everyone in it. You, in turn, can see the stage, the screen, me, and everything else. It's too natural, and we usually feel that we can see and understand the shape of the object always easily and correctly. Let's check this feeling by examples. Uh, take a look at this object. What do you see? It's a square platform with four slopes descending from the highest center in the four directions, right? The next example, it's clearly a vertical pole with four sides and attached to each side, there's a horizontal patch, okay? The next example, we have a miniature car covered by a round roof. And finally, in this example, we have a hexagonal cylinder on its side, and within it, there is a hen. So, <clears throat> we have just shown you four examples. And they are what your brains immediately understand, despite uh, never having seen them before in your life. However, your immediate understanding may not have been correct. I will show you what they really look like. So we revisit the first example. Here we understand that the center is the highest point, but the balls are rolling uphill. Impossible. It makes no sense. The truth is that the center is not the highest point, rather its lowest. This can be understood we rotate the object like this. So the center is the lowest, and the balls are rolling downhill according to the gravity. So the motion is not impossible, but natural. What is unnatural is the shape of the object. And if we go back to the initial viewpoint, we see this object again as a higher center. Um, I won't tell you that majority of the people in this room cannot, cannot see this image correctly, despite you know it's through the shape of the object. If you, in fact, can see this object in such a way that the center is the lowest from this view angle, then that's great. You have a special ability to see what others cannot. Actually, I know a few people who, after seeing the object for what it truly is, continue to be able to see the corrected object when we go back to the initial viewpoint. But that is not the case for most of us. Even intellectually understanding the true shape of the object doesn't let us see it. While this allows us to enjoy the anti-gravity motion again and again, it does show cause of concern about our ability to actually act accurately see the world. And this perceptual phenomenon is called an optical illusion, where what we see differs from reality. But an optical illusion differs from a simple misconception. When a misconception happens, we simply correct ourselves when told. With a real optical illusion, even when we understand that uh, our perception is wrong, we cannot correct it. We continue to see it wrong. The next slide, uh, next video, please. In this image, a red ring is hung in a seemingly impossible manner. 
it passes behind the ball, but in front of all the four parties. Impossible. It is only when we rotate the object that we understand that the parties only look as though they form a cross shape. In reality, they all extend backward. And once again, if we remove the ring and go back to our initial viewpoint, then we cannot help but to see this at the pole with horizontal perpendicular patches. Perhaps our brains have a strong preference for 90 degree angles. What I want to emphasize here is that the illusion passes long after we know the truth of the object. Even intellectually understanding the object, we cannot correct it and always we see the illusion. It is usually said that the human beings are creature of reason. But where is the reason here? Why do our brains continue to ignore what we know about the true shape of the object? Now let's go to the third example. We have a miniature car. And we sent insert the vertical mirror behind but the reflection doesn't seem to match the object the roof is corrugated instead of rounded and the truth is once again um, shows itself when we rotate the object the roof is neither rounded nor corrugated and the shape is unusual logically we know full well that the roof is neither rounded nor corrugated. But if we go back to the initial viewpoint, we cannot but to interpret what we see as such. Logically, we know that the shape of an object doesn't change when we see it in a mirror. But we cannot uh, <coughs> We cannot help that this is what we see. We simply look to roofs that look different to each other. So let's go to our final example. This is a hexagonal cylinder with a hand sitting at the bottom. The mirror is coming and the object is reflected, but the latter half and the can disappear completely. And the rotating object once again showed that it's not how it's presented. Only the top part has a shape we expect, and the latter half is a picture on the surface of the plane. So it is completely hidden by the upper part when we see it from a special viewpoint. Once again, if we move the object to the initial positions, then once again, we are fooled by an optical illusion that we now know everything about. I have just shown you four examples, and all four of these example objects create powerful optical illusions. The assumptions we make in fast viewing are not at all correct, but we cannot change them. We may be able to understand intellectually why they are wrong, but all we see is an illusion. So why, that, why does this happen? I have some theories. All four of these example objects are composed of parallelograms. But if we see it, the <coughs> output we see, the output 
of composed of rectangles. The slope of each slope is understood as a rectangle, and the faces of the patches, rectangles, faces of the roof, and the faces of the hexagon, all rectangles. In all cases, our brains interpret a series of parallelograms as rectangular shapes. From this, we could hypothesize that our brains have an innate preference for right angles and perpendicularity when we interpret the world around us. So despite knowing how they really are, when we look at these objects, we cannot help but assume that they, they are composed of left angles. The illusions are not rare. They are a natural byproduct of brains need to simplify. To see is not an easy task, and to make it easier, our brains make assumptions all the time based on our previous experiences with a preference towards rectangular object. Perhaps this is a useful evolutionary benefit, and it does work well since we are surrounded by so many rectangular shapes. Yet, while it may be correct the vast majority of the time, it is helpful to keep in mind that it's not infallible. Object illusion alone tells truth. Thank you.